Welcome back to 843 TV. If you are just joining us, we are here at Bridges Preparatory School, which though only opening just a few short years ago, has already doubled in enrollment. This year you add ninth grade. Um, what kind of challenges does the high school bring, level bring to Bridges Preparatory School? Probably the greatest challenge is being able to compete with everything that goes on in the local high schools, and some of them are the icons. Um, with that being said, you, we, like other schools, will brand our school. And with that, we will open up an avenue for these students to have advanced classes, to have dual certifications through, TC, through TCL and hopefully with USCB as well. Uh, there are some other areas that we would like to consider and go into, which is uh, expanding and having exchange programs, which Dr. Ithamidis, it's one of the points that we love so much when we talk to him. So I would love to have him interject and add to that, but we plan on making sure that our students receive the education that promotes and gives them the ability to compete with anyone globally. Yeah, right now we're, we're small in numbers. And so what you can offer uh, curriculum wise and program of studies is limited by the staff that you have. And as far as extracurricular activities and sports, we're, we're gonna grow. But the biggest challenge right now for the ninth graders especially is the kids that have come here, 45 of them bless their hearts because they're committed to this school and they know they're not going to have the same program of studies. They know they're not going to have the same extracurricular, co-curricular activities. They know that. But our job is to provide an educational experience for them that exceeds what they could do in other schools and know that they will build on that every year. So by the time they graduate, be a full-fledged high school. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about the advanced placement and honors courses because I know that that's, you know, when, when someone develops a passion for a, a, a subject and really wants to focus, um, that's an important um, outlet for them to have. Is that something that, uh, you know, math and science is obviously huge here in, in, in an effort for in the United States because we're apparently falling behind. Is that something that you all kind of put as a top priority for, for your high school students moving forward or for any student moving forward is the advanced placement courses? Well, our methodology is the Padea methodology. Along with that, um, we also are STEM infused. And I think being STEM infused answers a lot of questions and maybe even we should say STEAM infused <laughs> because it is science, technology, you know, the arts, math. So those are things, and again, I think that Dr. Ithamidis, as our administrator and as our head of school, can go into further details on that. Well, we've, we've already implemented honors courses for the ninth grader, so okay. that's a done deal. Good. Um, uh, we will implement, you know, the AP courses are valuable. Um, um, I'm a strong proponent of dual enrollment courses because they can get college credit and high school credits. Um, in my last school, we had uh, eight of our teachers certified for from Syracuse University. So they actually taught Syracuse University courses in our school. Kids didn't have to travel and they got Syracuse credits and credits. That's down the road, you know, because uh, I, you know, the AP is great. It looks like great on a transcript. It's a wonderful curriculum, but there is something to be said to be getting a college cre three credits. Oh, sure. Or four yeah. credits. So that's in there. We're also very involved in, in uh, project based and we've got an exciting project for the ninth graders this year. They'll be divided into teams and they're going to be looking at aquaponics and they're going to be developing a plan and researching and developing models with the idea of working with the architects by the spring to go to the board and make a pitch to build an aquaponics plant in the high school and a functioning plant in the high school. But the kids have to take the initiative to do that and our teachers right. will facilitate they're learning because they're going to learn. No, nobody knows anything about it. So as the teachers learn, the kids are going to learn. And that's the type of environment we want for our kids. That's great. I mean, it sounds like Bridges just has a wealth of education and hands-on and a lot of experience to offer the students. Um, we've also heard that you plan to start an international study program. Can you give us a short description of that? We're already underway. I've, uh, uh, in my last school, we had three layers. We had an F1 program, which we uh, kids could, international kids could apply and pay tuition to come to our school. Mm -hmm. I've already submitted the application for that. Uh, we're having a site visit probably within the next 10 days to get approval or hopefully get approval. And so by the next school year, we'll have uh, international students paying tuition to come here. That's number one. Number two, we will be taking, um, well, I'll be proposing to the board that we do uh, a cultural or exchange programs. In my last school, we had exchange programs in eight different countries. Mm -hmm. And our kids would, teachers would go for three weeks and then we'd host for three weeks. And we will also be looking at uh, sister city schools in Vietnam, China, 
and Scotland and perhaps Spain that, that I have contacts with because we send teachers. I'd like to be able to send teachers to China to help the Chinese understand how to teach in American style, which we've, I've done before. Mm -hmm. We have partnerships in Scotland. Our teachers exchange, go, uh, go to Scotland and they come there. The idea is that this is a global community and the, this is the best country in the world. It has so much to offer and international schools want to know what we're doing. And I want to know what they're doing, because if you go to Edinburgh Academy, it's one of the uh, best academies in Scotland, mm -hmm. they've got some wonderful programming and, and a different way of thinking. So I want to get my staff out there to find out what's going on. I want our kids to go abroad to find out what life in another country is like. And I want kids, I want to put Buford and Bridges Academy as the face of the U.S. Absolutely. Because when a kid from China comes here for the first time from Chunchen, this is what they think about America. And they go back and that's what their memories are. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the long-term goal for that international program. That sounds great. Very cool. Well, that's great stuff coming to you from Bridges Preparatory Academy. James, Dr. I, D, thank you so much for joining us today. May I add one thing Please. so that people mm -hmm. who are seeing this do know, we do have sports because that is an integral part of what mm -hmm. students want to do. We have right now volleyball, basketball, help me if I miss anything, James, <laughs> soccer, um, baseball, we can have softball, cross country, cross country so we, and, tennis. and tennis. So basically, at this point, we have everything that can be offered in other schools except football. We do have the ability to allow, because the, um, they can go to, their, to a school they'd be home zoned uh, or zoned to attend and try out for the teams that we may not have. Oh. So that's something that they are allowed to do. Uh, whether or not we'll ever have football, I don't know, but I can tell you that at the new facilities, we will have a sports complex. That is one of the things that will be there. Very so. good. Well, thank you for adding that. And thank you for watching 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.